Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. In the last video, I have shown you how to calculate the band gap of silicon crystal using standard uh, DFT, which is PBE functional. And uh, we did it using only one self-consistency calculation. So in this video, I will show you how to extend the calculation to HSE, which is one of the hybrid functionals. And uh, let's get started. So this is the input file that I, I have already written. Everything else is the same as last time, more or less. Uh, it's just that we add those three lines here, which uh, where we specify this is a hybrid functional calculation. If you want to know what is the detail of the, uh, like what does those uh, arguments mean, I would uh, advise you that you can uh, go to the pw.x input uh, description um, on the official website and uh, everything is documented here. But just just as a brief uh, introduction, this input DFT, this means what functional do you want to use? And uh, in this case, we want to use HSE, which is a hybrid functional calculation. And uh, and those are the cake uh, are the Q grids uh, used for the hybrid calculation, and uh, the denser the Q grid is, the more expensive the calculation will be, but the more precise the cal calculation will be. So usually you you need to do a convergence test on these uh, K points, and and also uh, usually the K point the number here should be uh, uh, more or less the factor of uh, of this k point density here yeah so for example uh, here we specify the k point to be 6 by 6 by 6 so the q point here you can uh, choose 1 by 1 by 1 2 by 2 by 2 3 by 3 by 3 or 6 by 6 by 6 yeah? usually that's uh, that's the way to do it but you, you know, maybe there are also other possibilities and for the hybrid functionals uh, usually uh, sometimes uh, like um, normally you may get a divergence at q equals zero yeah and to solve the, this divergence problem usually you uh, set this x comma extrapolation to be true and um, this means this exx means actually the hybrid functional and the divergence treatment to be this method and this method is valid for um for a cubic system, for cubic supercell. But uh, if you want to choose other method or your system is, is more unisotropic, uh, un uh, you can, you can uh, as I said, go to the input file uh, description and then you may find another more suitable method. Yeah. So everything, um, everything is, um, is basically explained now and uh, we can just do the calculation. You will notice that this calculation is much, much slower than the standard DFT. Um, that is because uh, the uh, hybrid functional calculation is actually very expensive. Okay, so now it's finished. And uh, let's check the output file. As I also mentioned uh, in in the last time, you can just uh, scroll down to the to the bottom and find the uh, highest occupied and lowest unoccupied level, and the difference between those two numbers um, is actually the estimation of the band gap. You see that here, the estimate estimation of the band gap is around uh, let's say two point six um, electron volt, which is quite large, and the reason is that. Um, the Q point density is too small here. Yeah, so uh, we so basically uh, we will change the K point density here and also the Q point uh, density here, and do the calculation again. Um, and um, I will just show you the result here. Okay, so those are all of the calculations that that I have done, and. Uh, Notice that this is this is a very expensive calculation, yeah, especially for this one. We have a eight by eight by eight k points and eight by eight by eight q points, and um, this actually takes uh, fifteen hours to uh, to calculate on a cluster. So um, I, I I summarized uh, all of the uh, results in the here. Okay, so basically, uh, this is k equals to 6 by 6 by 6 and q equals to 1 by 1 by 1 and this is the band gap 
that's what I what I showed you um, and and then if you increase the Q point uh, you see that the band gap decreases and more or less equilibrates to uh, 1.3 electron volt and for the 8 by 8 by 8 with increasing Q points it uh, equilibrates to 1.2 electron volt um, so, so you see from 6 uh, from k point equals to six by six by six to eight by eight by eight, still it is not uh, it is not really converging, but uh, but more uh, but we but it's more or less uh, there yeah. So we just take the one point two electron volt and copy it to to here, and you see that this is a much better estimation than the PBE calculation, uh, with only uh, two around three percent deviation from experimental value. So uh, in the next video, I will show you how to uh, like I will show you how to change to another hybrid functional, which is JUPBE. And the the nice thing with JUPBE is that it doesn't have the uh, divergence problem at Q equals zero. So so you don't have to tune some some other things. Yeah. Okay. So uh, thank you for watching, and I hope to see you next time.